You took a look at the largest cities in North Carolina and their incentives over a five-year period. What did you find? Well, we found that overall during that five-year period, these cities were participating in around 238 different economic incentive agreements. So if we total that together, we're looking at a promised $65 million in incentives. Now, we all know just because the city promises something doesn't mean the company lives up to their end of the deal. So they ended up only paying out roughly $20 million during that time period. But still, that's a pretty big chunk of change. And uh, you looked at the 13 largest cities, all of the cities with 70,000 or more people. Within those cities, who approved the most incentives? Well, Winston-Salem uh, took the lead. They approved 20 million incentives. And then Charlotte was next in line at around 16 million incentives. And uh, that was sort of in the, the dollar amount category. You also computed this on a per person basis because larger cities you might think would have more incentives. That wasn't necessarily always true. That's correct. Um, Winston-Salem is not our largest city and yet on a dollar basis and also on that per capita basis, they are spending or approving the most in economic incentives. Um, Asheville was actually second in per capita level. So there's two cities that are not our biggest, but they're really using incentives on a per capita basis. You mentioned that there is both the approval of incentives during this five-year period, which was 2009 to 2014, and also payments, a smaller figure. Who among the cities paid out the most? Well, um, Winston-Salem, again, is right there. They paid out the most right under $5 million. And then Fayetteville paid the second most. And then Charlotte rounds in um, for our top three. One of the things that you point out in this report beyond the data is the need to find a way to get this information more easily. How tough was it to put this together? This was extremely difficult. I had to contact every single city, go back and forth multiple times with their managers to try to get the information. And every city records it differently and itemizes things differently and finds different things to be of importance and others don't. So um, it would be very helpful if there was a centrally located um, index, if you will, of this information so that citizens and lawmakers and policy writers like myself would have an easy to go streamlined data set to go with. And this doesn't exist right now in North Carolina.